Hey there, I'm Tyler Green, and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to access MeScore 4 on your desktop, how to set up a score, and then how to start writing a score. Well, let's get started. So you're on your desktop, and what you need to look for is this icon for MeScore 4. Once you find it, double-click it to open it. Now this tab opens up a list of past scores that you might have wrote, or your um, account, your plugins, all that you can add, but right now we're going to start off with writing a new score. So you click the new score button, and this gives you in, uh, options for instruments. You can choose instruments from a wide range of instruments, of course, or you can choose from a template. So like you could do a big band, you could do wind quartet, brass quartet, brass quintet, and other options. But right now we're going to start off with triple clef only. Hit next once you select your instruments and this tab allows you to change your key if you would like to you can change your time signature which for this option we're going to do three four because we're going to be writing amazing grace um, you can change the tempo if you'd like or set the tempo by hitting this and you can add the number of measures or a pickup measure which we will be doing a pickup measure for amazing grace well next part is the title so you want to start off by writing your title of your piece, which is Amazing Grace in this example. And the composer slash arranger would be you, whoever that is, because you are arranging it. These options you don't need to know if you're just having, trying to have fun. Well, let's get started. Okay, so you have opened up on your first score, and you look, it's very busy. But if you look up at the top, you have the options for the note lengths. You can, while you're writing, you can use that, those options, or you can use the key binds, which for whole note, it starts at seven and it just goes down till one with the 64th note. But who uses a 64th note on a normal basis? Okay, next is the accidentals. You can use these uh, if you want to add flats, natural signs, or sharps. And then you also have ties and slurs. On the left here, you have a diff wide variety of options. You can change the clef to, say, bass clef, if you want to write in bass clef. But right now, we're going to stay in treble clef. And you can also change the key to F, if you would like to. Come on. There we go. They also have different options for tempo which one, a new feature they added was working um, retardandos and accelerandos, and they also allow for dynamics. Well, we're going to get started writing our first piece, so we're going to click where we want to start writing and hit the N key. This allows us to start writing our piece. So let's we'll start writing Amazing Grace. Now once you have done finished writing, you just want to hit the end key and that will allow you to move around the piece without writing a note. Well, once you've finished writing whatever you want to write, what you can do is click on the first note that you want to start the playback at and hit the space bar. This will play back, but you won't be able to hear it in this recording because I don't have access to the um, computer recording. So you just click where you want and then hit the space bar and it will play it for you. Now, what you can do with these, this um, software is writing piece, if you have a um, piece of music in class or even a little lick that you don't understand, you can use that to get the playback and understand how it sounds, what it's supposed to sound like. Of course, not with musicality, but with the general idea of it. And also, we can use it in class to make a little bit of creativeness in you and have you create your own tune that you sound that sounds nice to you. Or you can recreate a tune of your favorite kind. Well, have a good rest of your day, and thank you for listening to this tutorial.